Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing good. So today we will talk about some differences between genetic material of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So let's start. See the first point of difference, presence of true nucleus. So if we talk about genetic material of any cell, we all know it is usually located in the center of cell in an organelle named as nucleus. But a true distinct nucleus is absent in case of prokaryotic cells and it is always present in case of eukaryotic cells. Let's see the second point of difference, location. So when we talk about location of genetic material, so if nucleus is absent in case of prokaryotic cells, then of course we should know where the, the genetic material is located in case of prokaryotic cells. Then you should know genetic material in prokaryotic cells is always free floating in the cytoplasm and it is usually located in a region in the center of the cell which is known as nucleoid. So nucleoid is the region which contains genetic material in any type of prokaryotic cell. So let's see for eukaryotic cells. In eukaryotic cells, genetic material is located in nucleus. In addition to nucleus, in mitochondria as well as in chloroplast also genetic material is found. Let's see the third point of difference, nuclear membrane. So when we talk about nuclear membrane, nuclear membrane is actually a part of nuclear envelope which surrounds the nucleus. If nucleus is absent in case of prokaryotic cells, then of course nuclear membrane is also absent. And for eukaryotic cells, it is present. Let's see next point of difference, nucleolus. Nucleolus is absent in case of prokaryotic cells and it is present in case of eukaryotic cells. So number of chromosomes. So if we talk about number of chromosomes, usually it is one in case of prokaryotic cells and more than one in case of eukaryotic cells. Here, I would like to make you uh, clear about this thing. Whatever point of differences uh, I have noted over here and I'm sharing with you, these are on the basis of the characteristics which are shared by majority of the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. But still some exceptions exist. Like I have mentioned here, Usually number of chromosome is one in case of prokaryotic cells. But here I would like to tell you some exceptions are there. Like we all are aware about cholera causing bacteria named as Vibrio cholerae. So Vibrio cholerae is having more than one chromosome. So number of chromosome in Vibrio cholerae is actually two. So those exceptions we are not considering over here. Here whatever majority of the cells are sharing only those characteristics we are considering to learn this kind of difference between two type of cells. So let's continue this now. Genome size. Genome size is small in case of prokaryotic cells and it is large in case of eukaryotic cells. Genome shape. Genome shape is circular for prokaryotic cells and it is linear for eukaryotic cells. Histones. Histones are absent in case of prokaryotic cells. Histones are a type of highly basic proteins which, usually, which are, D, are also known as DNA binding protein. These are absent in case of prokaryotic cell genetic material and these are present in case of eukaryotic cell genetic material. Let's see next point of difference, introns. So firstly we should know what are introns. Introns are actually known functional portions of DNA. Note, I, I can say here to make you uh, further clear about it. These are actually known coding portions of DNA or we can say known coding genes. Those genes which are actually of known functional type, they don't code for any kind of protein products. So introns are usually absent in case of prokaryotic cells. But still, I would like to tell you over here, exceptions are there. There are many archaea which are known to contain introns also. But here, as majority of the prokaryotic cells genetic material is lacking introns, so I have written it here absent. Now you see for eukaryotic cells, introns are present for eukaryotic cells in eukaryotic cells genetic material, right? Mitotic division. Mitotic division is absent in case of prokaryotic cells genetic material and it is present in case of eukaryotic cells genetic material. So I hope this information will really be useful for all of you. Thank you. Stay connected.